Chicago is a city of work ethic. It's a city of promise. There's a lot of people from all over the world that migrate here, like my family. So a lot of inspiration comes out of this city. The architecture and the sound of the streets to just all the different neighborhoods. Chicago is that city of dreams. A lot of it revolves around just the people we're surrounded by. We're lucky to be in a city where there's so many talented individuals. My name is Lucy Guzman, and I'm a visual artist from Chicago. It was like the icebreaker growing up. Oh, you have a Cubs pencil, you have a Cubs notebook. I can talk to you because you understand what I love too, what I'm interested in. For me as a kid, like, all I love to do is draw. I couldn't really play sports well. I tried a lot. I wasn't that good, but what I would do, like, go home, I would just kind of draw Chicago teams. Like, everybody knows what the C is, that Cubs C. It's like, you just know. I think that's what Chicago sports has transcended into. Now we're able to bring something like that from a five, six year old kid to a 32 year old. Now we can, you know, do a sculpture for Wrigley Field. Chicago creative community is so diverse and so just potent that we know each other mm -hmm. through different streams. You know, it's been, it's been beautiful. How helpful is like the community when it comes to grow the art form together? I always think that like no one works harder than Chicago does. I think like we feel at times we have so much more to prove, but more than anything, like we all want to see each other win. You know, we don't give up here. You know, it's like all those teams growing up when we were with sports, they never gave up and they won a bunch of championships. It really forced like myself and the people around me in order to like try to build mm -hmm. some sort of platform or program for ourselves in order to be able to find like-minded people. Now to be able to see people like Lewis be on this global platform, it's like, hell yeah, he did it in Chicago. You're about to unveil a physical statue at Wrigley Field. Yeah. You know, I want this to be a, a something that people are gonna see not just as a structure, but literally seeing themselves in it. Just thinking about that moment where like, you know, the kid is gonna pass by with his dad, you know, he's gonna pass your sculpture. Seeing that and maybe, you know, pursuing art because of you know, him being inspired by your work. That's beautiful. I know growing up, I didn't really have a lot of people that looked like me that did what I yeah. do. And yeah. so um, to now think about that you're opening up that door for someone to think that, you know, they can have a big sculpture that's permanent too, is so important. What I think is cool about this is we're giving people outside of the sports community, but still like impacted by it, a chance to voice their platform. We create with purpose and passion, and when someone else like the Chicago Cubs organization comes to us, that it, it, it kind of makes you feel good about you've literally been on the right path your entire life. Dude, it's crazy, man. I mean, like, grew up trying to come here and see this is nuts. I thought it was really cool, you know, it's like giving artists like myself a platform to experiment but also create freely. The city revolves around creativity, you know, and teamwork. So it's gonna be made out of these three materials. It's like mirror materials. Oh, okay. Very nice. Here's what it looks like. Oh, wow. Yeah. 700 That's pound awesome. bronze. Thank you, bro. 700 pounds? Yeah. So how big, how big is it? It's five feet. Really? Yeah, five feet of electroplated awesome. bronze. Thank you, bro. That's gonna be really There's a plan there. You need to experience the highs and lows of all this because it makes you stronger later on. Nice to meet you. How long have you been here for? I started in 86. I've been here since 86? Wow. Collaborations in the future for the Cubs, like I think it's like opening up a whole new phase of what's possible. You see it in sculpture form, maybe tomorrow you'll see it in painting form or you'll see it in fashion form. Like endless possibilities and I think it's going to create a lot of amazing energy for the organization. I want to introduce Cohere, a permanent structure, sculpture that's going to be installed and living here in the stadium at the friendly confines of Wrigley Field. From this collaboration standpoint, the partnership with the Cubs, it's like being able to install a permanent structure based on something that started from like a bedroom as a kid to adulthood and kind of putting it out there. I think you always got to remind yourself why you started in the first place. You know, like those vivid early day memories of being that kid, you know, like, oh, this is what I fell in love with and now I'm doing this as an adult. You could have told me that when I was that age. For the Cubs to team up and partner up with myself as an artist and, you know, for the future of other artists in the city, it's like, it's a beautiful thing and I think it's gonna really shake things up.